We're back with Farming Sim, back in My Day Series 2. We've got a lot of work done on our farm, and I'm excited to show you what we've done, what we've bought, what we've borrowed. I appreciate all y'all's comments on the last video. I'm gathering up all that information on what tractors and everything else you have won on this farm. In the next video will feature all of that. I promise and thank you. Quickly before we start, a long time ago we did a giveaway on this channel. I gave away some gift cards for Xbox, PlayStation, and Steam. I wanted to do the same, but instead of doing it on YouTube this time, it's much easier for me to do it on Instagram. So I created an Instagram for our channel. I'll put it in the link below in the description. It'll take you to our Instagram page. It's just Hudson's Playground. We'll be posting all of our daily stuff on there, probably daily photos of me and the kids, doing whatever we're doing, whether it's Hudson's Playground for the kids channel, Hudson's Playground Gaming for this, maybe our PC, our setup, y'all wanna see that, or my actual farm on my farming channel, a mix of everything. So if you can watch this video, give this a thumbs up, and once it's finished, click on that link and go check out our Instagram channel and give it a follow. I would appreciate it because in the future, I'm gonna be doing giveaways over there. I alluded to a few videos ago, do you prefer Xbox or PlayStation? That's just a hint. Whenever I can get my hands on one of the new ones, maybe I'll give one of those away. That's the plan. So, appreciate it. Thank you guys. Let's get started. As you see, our house that was uh, not really a house is no more. We borrowed a dozer from in town. We completely knocked it down. We're keeping the dozer for a week, as well as that. That is a tree eater. It basically eats trees and gets rid of the trees. Um, I want to clean this lake up. I'm thinking maybe, so what we can do maybe is get the dozer and kind of get rid of this dirt right here. And that'll allow all the water to flow down this river. Maybe it'll empty this lake and then we can get in there with the dozer, clean it up, make it deeper, make it nicer. I want to clean that up. It looks awful. It is an eyesore. So now that this house is gone, I want to build an actual house for us. We got uh, the area cleaned up. We got our shredder. It cleaned up all this area. Everything is nice and neat. Look at our grass. It looks wonderful here. So with this guy, I want to knock down a few trees. Probably these two. Um, since that is our field right up there, I want to maybe clear a little path for that as well. So we're going to clear a path there. In town, we talked to a guy. He has a 4024 s with duels on the back, which is perfect for our cultivator. It'll be a little more horsepower than all the tractors we have now. I saw some of the ones that you guys recommended. We're going to use those. So uh, let's get started. Let's knock down some trees. Once we do that, we'll get the dozer to clear a path to our field. And then we'll go grab that John Deere, start cultivating, cultivating the fields and uh, getting it ready. It's got some weeds and stuff growing on it, so we're going to get rid of those. So let's turn this on for now. And let's just knock these trees down. Okay, well, we took off the bottom on that one side. Let's get the other side, maybe. We're chipping away. Okay, I got rid of that one. Okay, okay, we got rid of one. So this is a double tree. All right, we're kind of struggling right here, boys. All right. Oh, there we go. All right, we got that tree gone. I'm thinking maybe we'll get rid of this one. That one's a good one to get rid of. We got to clean that stump up. And this one for sure. It's way too close to our field. We need to get all these weeds out of here as well. I don't want those in our field. I think that's a good enough path. Let's just get rid of that one little stump here. Perfect. Like I said, we're going to keep this for another week. So if there's any other trees y'all think we should get rid of or something else with this thing, let me know. There's this little piece right here that just doesn't... It's just a sliver of wood. It's just sitting there. Okay. Let's use the dozer. Let's create a little path to that field. And then I want to run to town. Go finally purchase the John Deere 4020 with the duels on the back. Already has a plow on it as well. So I'm excited for us to see it and use it. It should have enough power to run that old cultivator we have. So... We'll see. But we have the plow anyways. I want to plow up the field, get it ready, and uh, we'll start planting something. What should be the first seed we plant in that field? Because you got to remember, do we need to get a big harvester? Is it going to be hay? Do we need to get hay equipment? you got to let me know. What do you want to see in our first ever field on this farm? What should we plant? All right, let's drop the blade. All right. I think that looks pretty good. I'll get the shredder, clean up the edges as well, make it look a little nicer. But for now, that'll work. Let's run to town. I want to go find the man who's selling us the 4020, get a good deal on it, and uh, bring it back to the farm and put it to use. I'm ready to get going. I'm ready to make some money. Oh, before we do all that as well, can't forget. So we were able to save a little wood from this house, 
and we put we're gonna put together a doghouse for Rufus. So let's do that. So it's not much, it's not great, but we're gonna make a better doghouse for Rufus in the future. But for now, this is the only wood we had. So we're gonna put it. I don't know. We'll put his doghouse like. We'll put it right here for now. I think this is a good spot. I know, I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. It's a pretty junky doghouse. I get it. There you are, Rufus. Do you like the new place? Yeah. So it's not the best doghouse. I know. It's all we have. We're poor. We don't even have enough money to build a house yet. So we got to work some fields, gain some money. We barely have enough money for this 4020. And then with what y'all said, maybe sell a few tractors, sell a few pieces of equipment here. And we'll start getting more tractors, some better tractors, some bigger tractors. We'll get there. I promise. But for now, Rufus, that's all you got. I mean, I might, I'm going to be sleeping in there with Rufus. I don't even have a house. Let's go grab the John Deere 4020. All right, this guy's got an awesome farm, as you can tell. He's not hurting for money. We got a good deal in the 4020. Look at it. So, got the weights on the front, which is needed because we're going to be using this thing to pull a lot of stuff. So, it's got the duels on the back, which means it's really back heavy. So, we had to get all the weights on the front that we could. Comes with a plow, which is perfect. So, we're going to go plow up that field. I'm excited. I've never had a 4020 with duels on the back, but here we are. Oh, it runs great. Look at this thing. I love it. Ooh, it's got the straight pipe too for the exhaust. Woo! This thing's pretty. So what do y'all think about the map? Do y'all like the map? I think this is a very, very cool map. I saw a lot of y'all recommend this map. I saw all the recommendations y'all y'all said. I appreciate everything. I looked at a lot. And uh, this one fits pretty good. It fits the back in my day theme. It's not too advanced. It's pretty old school and there's a lot of work we can do to it. We're gonna expand our farm, I promise. This is gonna be a great series. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff I have planned. Some really good stuff, some really bad stuff. There's gonna be a lot of fun. We need to work on our entrance as you see. We'll clean all this stuff up. I mean, I plan on making this an awesome farm. We'll make it more inviting. Maybe clean some trees up here too as well in our entrance. Make the road a little nicer. Maybe we'll go invest in like a dump truck or something. Maybe we'll pave this road, put some gravel down. Because when it rains, it's going to be super muddy back here. I could already tell. It's kind of swampish, as you can see. Like there's a lake there. There's that lake over there behind our house. So I have a feeling this probably gets really muddy when it rains. So we need to make sure we take care of that before that happens. All right. I want to put the 4020 straight to work. I want to plow the ends. And I want to send him directional and uh, get it going. I'm pretty sure this has enough horsepower for this plow. I hope. It does. Perfect. Look at this thing. I love it. I love the duels on this tractor. It's so cool. So this ground isn't like the where we came from. Where we came from was real black. Like a black kind of dirt. This is more brown. So some stuff might grow better out here than it did at our other farm. Um, we'll see. But it's definitely a different type of soil. Love the 4020. As you may know, this tractor has a soft spot in my heart. It was my first tractor I ever driven, I ever owned. It was a 4020. So I love 4020s. I still have nine of them on my farm. So I love them. I'm glad I can incorporate a 4020 into my farm and farming sim. I love everything about that. I'm excited to plant some stuff too on here and get it going. Cause like I said, we don't have much money. So get this stuff ready. Get it going, make some money, buy some tractors. We need to invest in a farm truck for ourselves too. There's a lot of stuff we need to do. Another thing is I don't want to sell our Camaro, but if we need the money, I might have to. That feels like a bad idea, but worst case scenario, we might have to sell it. I don't want to, like I said, but we never know. So I'm thinking in order to clean out this tank here, we got to get rid of all the water. So if I come in here, Drop it down, maybe dig this out, let all the water come out, let it sit for a few days, it'll dry up. And then we could come in here and we could dig it out or something like that, put some better sand in, make it look nicer, because this is awful. It's probably going to be full of mosquitoes. Another thing I did not notice, which is pretty cool, we didn't have this at the other farm. Hey there, Rufus. So this is actually an apple tree, and that one's actually an orange tree. So it's going to produce fruit, fresh fruit for us, apples and oranges. That's pretty cool. Rufus might have to learn how to eat apples and oranges because we don't have too much money. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. We have tons more to do in this farm. So much to do, so much to grow, so much to learn. And I need your help. 
So I would appreciate it down below. If you could leave a comment, let me know anything you want to see in this farm, anything and everything. I'm always reading those comments. I really appreciate all the support and everything as well. It means a lot to me. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Go down, go follow our Instagram. Like I said, we're going to be doing giveaways over there. Tons of stuff, just everything tractor related from our real life stuff to gaming, everything in between, just daily updates, what we're doing, what I'm doing. So I appreciate it if you can go to that and follow it as well. So until next time, make sure you thumbs up, like, subscribe, watch more of our videos. Bye.